I have already decided not to cook today and coincidentally, to my good luck, my neighbours invited me up for dinner. In a way, I'm relieved that I don't have to rummage through my pantry for some instant macaroni and cheese and just hop along in their brand new EV and off we go to this area in Kuala Lumpur which is called Pudu. Hey you, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel and yes, we are in Kuala Lumpur well, on an invitation by my very kind neighbours we are checking out this old war horse of a Chinese restaurant which is called Sek Yun Nope, it's not my birthday and I don't know who is the birthday boy or birthday girl in this group here I don't know them but I did offer to take a family photograph of them later on this is the original shop frontage of Set Yun restaurant and it's so popular it kind of expanded into two separate wings next to or rather with this one in between. Set Yun is one of the oldest restaurants existing in Kuala Lumpur. It started way back in the 1940s. Well, some people say to be precise, 1948. Way back then, there were three very tenacious brothers who started off just selling wonton noodles and tin sum from their very humble pushcart. There weren't any of the fancy dishes that you find right now in the contemporary version of Sek Yun because the people of Kuala Lumpur then, they weren't very well off. Take for example this dish and this would have been a real luxury for the people of Kuala Lumpur way back then. And this is shark's fin with eggs. I'm not so much into it. Honestly, not so much because of the shark's fin, but simply because I don't like eggs. I know I may be a foodie, but sometimes, yes, I do have some strange aversions too. We were told that this is one of their signature dishes, this shark's fin with eggs. I hear you now asking, how do you eat this? Well, you can either top it up onto your steaming hot bowl of rice or you may simply roll them up in a big lettuce leaf. And for our intake of fibre, we have the dish on the bottom right. Well, I must confess, I don't know the name in English for this kind of vegetable, but in Cantonese, we call it the Gao Choi Fa. In this particular dish, it's stir-fried with siu yolk or crispy roast pork and the roast pork itself, on itself, on its own, it's really good. Incidentally, even though the wonton noodles was the very first food introduced by the three Pang brothers of Sek Yin in the 1940s, they later on brought in dim sums in the morning and also what is now their very famous roast duck. You can find this on the menu in Sek Yin, it's the Pei Pa Duck. We are not going for a whole fish tonight since there are only three of us and this is just a perfect size and it's so delicious. It's steamed with a generous amount of garlic and ginger. It's not a very lush dinner, albeit it's a very good one. And rounding up our vlog here in Sek Yun tonight, let's pop over to next door to the original site of the restaurant and have a little mooch about and looking at some of the memorabilia and old photographs. We so wanted to be seated in this particular section of Sek Yun, but they didn't accept, they don't accept reservations beforehand and when we arrived, this area was totally packed out. We reckon that it would have been nice to have a table in this particular section of Sek Yun just to savour the oldie worldie vibe of the place. Hey ho, I'm Gobble Guzzle signing off for now. Always be kind, spread the message of peace. Jumpa lagi, bye bye.